To end off week three, we have the Ravens going up against the Commanders. My name is Brian Hayes, and I'm with my partner, David Clark. How are you doing, David? I'm doing great today. I am ecstatic about this matchup in the North Conference, as whoever wins this match will enter the playoffs and play the Browns. Well, let's head to our sideline reporter, Nia Washington, who has a report for us. I just talked to both of the coaches, and the commander's coach said they are confident. They're a new team. They have done a lot of training to get here, and now that they're here, no one is stopping them. The Ravens coach who lost last year said after that game, adjustments were made. A new quarterback and running back was drafted. They hired new coaches for offensive line, and they hired a better defensive coordinator. He said they are a new and experienced team, and the commanders will be commanded. Well, let's see if these new commanders can beat the Ravens as kickoff to end week three is now underway. And it's going to be picked up by a returner at the 20. He avoids a tackle. And he will be down at the 40-yard line to start the drive. David, let us know about this offense. When you talk about a rookie team, you wouldn't expect this. This is a round one pick running back from Texas, and the quarterback is round two from Ohio State. If you can't work with this offense, you can't coach a team at all. As the running back gets the ball first, but breaks the tackle getting a loss of five. Unacceptable by the offensive line. You need to block everyone in the line. If a free guy gets to it, this is what happens. As the quarterback drops back, he sees a receiver down the field, and it's caught. Gets jumped at the 25-yard line for a first down commanders. And that's how you work a blind spot as receiver. First down commanders now at the 25. The quarterback fakes the handoff looking for an open man. And the quarterback tucks the ball he's going to scramble. Moves a guy out of the way and he's in the end zone. Touchdown commanders. Does the defense even want to play football? That's how you come back from a bad start. First play was a five yards loss, but to come back with big plays is how it's drawn up. Well, let's see if the Ravens can draw up a comeback in the second as the Commanders are commanding with seven and the Ravens run Duncan. This is the KB 6-7 football lead. Can the Ravens get away from their donut or will the Commanders keep ordering them? We will see as the second quarter of the KB 6-7 football lead is now underway and that kick will hit the end zone for a touchback let's talk about this offense as we definitely should a round one pick quarterback from michigan who is predicted to be the best in the league he can pocket pass scramble and play with almost zero mistakes but hiding behind his is that running back round three pick from alabama as you already see what this QB can do, we will be in the 35-yard line for a first down Ravens. As an outside linebacker or a corner, you can't ever overshoot a tight end, especially in cover one, because they will make you pay with the one high safety. First down for the Ravens now on the 35. Quarterback fakes the handoff, drops back looking for an open man. Now he steps up in the pocket. And he has his running back wide open off the wheel route. And it's caught and he runs into the end zone. Touchdown Ravens. Mama, I'm coming home to the end zone. What a play right there to fake the stretch run. Then turn the stretch into a real route for a one-on-one -on -one with the safety. Are we sure these are rookies? The coach said they are a new and experienced team. And they are for sure showing it. The question is can they keep showing this through the entire game? We will see on the KB 6-7 football lead. It is the third quarter. Can the Ravens make this drive count? We will see as the third on the KB 6-7 football lead is now underway. They pick it up at the 40, and he's going to run, but turn at the 45-yard line for what could have possibly been a touchdown. Yeah, I couldn't tell you what's wrong with him. CT concussion i have no clue first down on the 45 trips formation qb drops back in shotgun steps up to avoid a sack finds an open receiver intercepted by the linebacker there is a penalty on the field and he will be down at the 40 yard line for a right now first down commanders i think this is coming back why do you think that i think this is passing fields let's see the replay 
And yes, he is obviously holding it so he can get the ball. Let's see our referee. Pass interference, defense, 15-yard penalty from the line of scrimmage, first down. Exactly what you said, and it will be a 15-yard penalty from the line of scrimmage and an automatic first down. Ravens ball in the 30 with an empty backfield, but QB under center, quarterback rolls to the right and finds an open receiver across the field. Picked off by the safety, he's going to return the ball. Trying to push through, but will go down at the 30-yard line for a first down commanders. What a play by the safety. He had a deeper and got beat over top by the receiver's speed. But the throw was short because the receiver was too far down the field throwing a bad ball to an interception. Well, we will have a great finish here as we are tied going into the best quarter, the fourth quarter, here in the KB6-7 Football League. After the interception, can the Commanders fight this defense and win the game? We will see here in the fourth quarter. First down on the 30 now. Quarterback hands it off to the running back. And he is fighting for yardage. And he breaks free. And he finally goes down on the 35-yard line for an aggressive commander's first down. And that is how you make a statement. First play to start the fourth quarter. And they fight like this. We are quite possibly watching the most aggressive team in this league right now. First down on the 35 now. Quarterback in shotgun. He's going to drop back looking for an open receiver. Steps up in the pocket and throws to the check down. He catches the ball at the line in open field. But great tackle by the safety to stop him at the 20 and stop the touchdown. Very aggressive and great for him by that safety to get the save. First down, Commanders, now a touchdown wins the game. QB is going to hand it off to the running back. And he's going to run out of bounds, losing 10 yards to make it second and 20. What is this running back doing? If he runs upfield, he wins the game. Now his team has to play two times harder to get the win. Quarterback throws the screen pass, and it is caught. But the defense will eat this up, and he will lose five yards, making it third down. And now we see the momentum shifting. If the running back scored, the game would be over. Third down, five wide out. Can they score? Quarterback in shotgun. He's going to drop back looking for an open receiver. Rolls out to the left, and he's going to scramble, but goes out of bounds at the 30. And don't you think for a bit a field goal is safe? That is a 45-yard field goal. If he hits it, game is over. If he misses, we are going to go to overtime. Well, let's see. Kicker is set. The kick is up. And it's drifting to the right and hits the upright. We are going to overtime. Like I said, it's not an easy kick. Just when it comes down to a field goal, it's not always automatic. Overtime it is. We are in a scuffle. Very aggressive matchup. Commander 7, Raven 7, who will win in the KB6-7 football league. We are all tied up with lucky number seven, who's going to win. Here is the coin toss to see who goes first as our overtime rules are the same as college football. Lands on heads. And Ravens will be on offense first. First down Ravens from the 25. Will they score? Let's see. The quarterback hands the ball off. And he will be hit, but is breaking the tackle. And he breaks free. Open Sesame. Touchdown Ravens. Talk about breaking the tackle. He didn't just break the tackle. No, he wasn't finished. He broke that tackle and ran into the end zone for the touchdown. Show them who's the man. Now for the extra point. Kick is up. 
and it is right down the middle. Now it's the commander's turn. Can they score and win the game by going for two? If they play how they were playing in the first half of the game, then they can easily win. But they need to rekindle that fire that they had going. They have potential to be the most aggressive team. They just need to show it. First down, Commanders on the 25. Quarterback drops back looking for an open receiver, steps up in the pocket, and looks for the check down again. But he missed the ball, and it will be incomplete. Second down, Commanders. That is unacceptable as a running back. Great play overall. But the running back needs to make that catch. You could also argue for a better throw. Play action pass for the quarterback. Steps up in the pocket. He finds a receiver and throws. Picked off by the corner, and he will get pushed out of bounds, and the game is over. Ravens will win it. Wow, what a finish. But like I said, if you can't rekindle what you were doing, you can. That is how you effectively break a team down. Veteran coaching will beat rookie coaching. But from the start, we knew this would be a good game. From Brian Hayes and my partner David Clark, our sideline reporter Neil Washington, and all our crew, we will see you next time in the South Conference football game. This is the KB67 Football League.